people tend to ask me that how do you research about a particular mood preposition how you research about a this is apart from mood also when i am researching in my legal fraternity say they say that how do you come up with the tools how you you go for that particular uh, proposition and research about it so i would be decoding it in the sense that the stages that i take up so first you need to actually before researching anything you need to first understand the applicable laws even if it is not mentioned on the proposition that i just said while you were decoding in the fourth reading you mentioned all the applicable laws research about them research about them in and out from the bare act from the net from the book for your understanding this is again i am writing writing in the bra uh, brackets this is only for better understanding and is not always meant to be written in the memory i repeat not always sometimes it's suitable sometimes it's healthy to write the applicable law and its detail in it but it is not always to be meant to be written next is read the applicable law from the bare act and understand it completely this should be your first step of researching read from the bare act and understand it then if you are able to understand it refer to the books and commentaries for the basis of the law don't go into the details don't form an answer just on a blank sheet of paper scribble down the important points of the law just for your understanding this is something that i have again written don't go into the complete analysis <coughs> otherwise you will go haywire so this was in relation to the applicable law once you are done with applicable law you will be able to find out the question of law itself this is something which i cannot teach you because once you are able to do this step one once you are able to understand all the applicable law applicable law then you will find out which is the question of law question is law uh, is nothing else but what we discussed in fact in issue okay so what we discussed in fact in issue will form the question of law that particular fact in issue which was there try to fit it in a question try to fit it in in a law that becomes it so this is a very imperative and crucial part in cases of appeal or review so question of law becomes a very important part in appeal and review because this is the basis of your appellate memorial your review memorials so when i'm saying this particular thing just understand question of law is very important to be found out just found out okay writing it is very important in the cases of appeal and review so if you have a moot court wherein you are filing an appeal find a question of law and write it but if you have a moot court where you're not filing an appeal you're just going for the suit or for criminal matters for example bail you don't have to write question of law but you need to know it that what is the basis okay this is what i am saying in all the other cases understand the question put up for particular section now question that is put up this question is not the issues written in the proposition how both of them are different just understand issues are something which you are raising and finding a solution for it question is something which the law provides for it issues are based on actually facts and they differ from case to case but question it does not depend on fact it depends on the le legal part the law part the legislation and it remains the same that is why once you are able to find the question of law it would be very easy for for you to find the relevant case laws that i'll be discussing in the further part okay this is something that i also mentioned uh, while you were reading the sections list out the essentials point out the essentials of the section 302 pointers 1 2 3 4 these are the essentials now the problem would be based ideally on one or some sections only master in those sections and fully understand it for example why i am saying this if a particular question is there a particular proposition is on murder just base your understanding only on murder 302 punishment culpable homicide 300 301 302 that's it don't go into the full detailed analysis of ipc or full detailed analysis of the chapter this is very important you need to understand this you are only talking about murder culpable homicide punishment to murder that's it full stop don't go here and there okay this is very important that you need to do 
although it is not a part of your memorial as such. Then comes application of facts. Once you have highlighted all the essentials of the sections, then start allocating the facts to it. Okay. The most important part is to apply the facts of the proposition to the law analyzed. So if you say this is one, this is one and this is one. I have laid down three essentials. Then find out the facts which is there from the proposition. Find out the facts which highlight this. Find out the fact which highlight this. And then apply these facts to this law. This is how you need to connect the mood proposition. So you understand if we were not able to decode the mood proposition or understand the mood proposition, we would not be able to do this particular step. And if you are not able to do this particular step, then how will you find the case laws on basis of facts? Because when we talk about case laws, you'll see we have two types of case laws that we need to find on the question of law. That is the application of law. And second is the application of facts. Okay. So you just apply the facts, pick out and segregate which fact goes to which section. Check out the facts with the essentials of the sections. This is something basic that I will not be repeating. Then comes your legal points. What are legal points? Legal points are what I, I said in the essentials. So sometimes it happens that there are certain legal points that you need to understand. Like the basic thing is difference between culpable homicide and murder. That is that difference actually lays on the legal points. So you need to understand the legal points. You need to note them down. And these need to be found out during thorough research. They cannot be lying there plainly in the bear act. They cannot be lying there plainly in the books. You need to do a thorough research to find out legal points. Now, why legal points are very important because these are the points where you would be grilled in arguments. If you do not find the good legal points and the other team are able to find the legal points in that particular sections, you're gone. You would not be able to ask. That is the thing you need to understand. This is how you need to research. Now comes your most important part. That is the cases. The previous research that I mentioned, all these four things, you can take help of Google. You can take help of books. You can take help of internet whatsoever. That's not an issue. But in understanding all these things, all these four points, don't go to the research tools till now. Research tools are Manupatra, AIR or uh, live law and all these things don't go there. Okay. Why I'm telling you this thing. It's a very important thing because you need to restrict yourself only to the legal points or the laws mentioned in the proposition. If you go and find it in the real scenario, you will be confused because real thing is very different. Real thing. You, there's a lot of things that are mixed. There would be criminal law, civil law going together against each other. Evidence law would be there. And as I said in moot courts, evidence law does not play an important part. So that is why don't go there. We'll go to the research tools only when we come to the cases. So once your research is completed, as per all these things, find out cases. Cases are to be found out on question of law, on the application of facts, on the sections that are there. So if there is a murder section 302, find out all the laws. Okay. Now how to research. This is very important how to research. This is something which I do personally and you can find your own best way. But what I do is I basically go on the Google and write everything. Okay. So this is very vague. So if uh, I have a proposition where it says that A killed B by stabbing him in the chest. So this is what I would be writing in Google. A person killed the other person by stabbing in the, into the chest. Now why it is very important. This is the main proposition because this is something which the whole case is about. You write it and you search it. Search these sections and find out cases and law points. Now this is very important when you write it on Google. Google will show you n number of uh, searches. Sometimes it would be articles. Sometimes it would be cases. Sometimes it should be PPT or podcast, YouTube, n number of things. Go through each one of them. You never know what you will find out. And that is the beauty of uh, researching. You do not actually have a plan until you go and research. Because people ask me from where do you start? I don't start from anywhere. I find my starting point from Google only. I write this particular proposition. 
and I get n number of articles. I go and read these articles. Whatever I find now, this is very important. Whatever you find relevant while reading, just cut, copy, paste. Make a separate word file with the name of uh, moot, moot code or memorial. Cut, copy, paste everything. I'm not exaggerating. When I do research, the content that I get from all these sites and everything, sometimes it has even reached around 200, 300 pages of word document, which you have to afterwards sit and segregate what you find relevant. You need to put it. You need to just make a, it, it is actually a jumble. It's actually a puzzle. You need to just find the relevant portion and attach it. And that is actually time consuming. But once you research and you culminate everything in a word document, it would hardly take a week to segregate that. So this is one thing you just write it on basic Google thing. The basic proposition, what you need to write the main proposition and search it. Now, secondly, there is an advanced Google search. Why I'm saying it's an advanced, the specific law point, whatever law point that you need to search, write it that way. Okay. The specific fact, write it that. For example, like I gave you the example, A killed B by stabbing him into the chest. That is the main proposition. Now I need to find out. Like I have researched everything. I have found out the section and everything. Now I'm stuck in a one particular portion, which says that if you're stabbing someone on the chest and the person does not die, then so I'll write that particular point stabbing someone in the chest and a person not dying. What happens then? So then I would find certain papers, research papers, articles, and all these things, which were there on reference to the law point, which you are taking up. Okay. And why this advanced Google search is very important. This is actually a tip which I'm giving out to you guys. This is what I have actually used in moots, moot quotes. When you are reading these cases, the actual real cases refer to the issues. If given in the proposition, if there is a proposition there with you and the issues are mentioned, take that, write that issues. And whatever you are getting from the papers, articles, cases, if it forms a part of the issues, if it is relevant to them, write it there because this will later help you form issues and arguments. Because towards the end, what you have to do, you have to argue what arguments you need to put the body, the content of arguments. Where do you get it? You actually get it from here. People actually don't take this thing very seriously. They Form a memorial, keep it aside, and then they start from the scratch building their arguments. No, that is not how you do. You are not only researching for memorial making, you are also researching for your arguments. So if you have a case, which if you have a case in front of you, which talks about murder. If you talk, if it talks about someone stabbing in the stomach, use that things in your arguments, use them in your issues. Then only you would be able to argue better. Then only you would be getting something real because you're putting the real arguments in your, uh, the real arguments, which are there in real cases, you're putting them in your fictional case. So then judge would also be impressed. Oh, and seriously, this guy has done some great research because he got that particular points, which are discussed in the real cases. You understand what I'm saying? And once you're done with it, go for the research tools. This is the extensive research. So there are three types of research, basic, advanced and extensive. Now extensive research any memorial is not complete without extensive research. You need to put up cases. You need to put up cases from Manu, Manu Patra. You need to put up cases from AIER. And these legal research tools are available for extensive research. They are paid. I know they are paid, but if you are not able to get that, go to Indian Kanun. Indian Kanun is free. Okay. And only use these tools if you have a starting point of your research. This is very important. That's why I said that if you find out through thorough research, if you do not have these legal points and you're directly going on to the research tools, no, you'll get lost because there are hundreds and n number of cases on one particular topic. You'll be confused as to what to put and what not to put. Okay. So once you are done with these two things, once you are done with these two things, you'll narrow down things. You narrow down things as per your issues, as per your arguments. Okay. I got five things, but I like only three. These three have heavy footing. The less the, the rest two, they're not as important. So you research only on those three things. Okay. So once
once you have a starting point then only use these tools because as i said it can lead to finding a needle in a haystack if you don't have a base to start your research on and research tools i would not be telling you how to use them they, they are very easy to use just like google you need to just put it up and one thing that i find very wrong with people they say that once you are using these research tools you need to know their in and out like they have a particular procedure to search certain things don't worry about that you can implement your own procedure okay just have a practice of it do it once do it twice do it thrice you will not get it trust me fourth time you will get it so that is something which i think is not very important you don't know if you don't know how to use a research tool don't worry you will learn it you will learn it by using it again and again so once you are done with research we are done with second stage also we come to the third stage that is drafting of memorial now this is very important part and it's a laid down structure also nowadays uh, like in my time there was only memorial but when i was exiting from my law school they started a thing called compendium also compendium is nothing but a case map the cases that you have referred in the memorial you will be putting up in compendium also so it's nothing but just a wastage of money or wastage of paper to be honest now one of the most important aspect of any moot competition as it, it is one of the most important concept why because whatever you are writing in is are the only grounds of argument that can be taken so if you have written five points of issues in your memorial you can only argue on those five and not on the sixth one that is why memorial drafting is very important this line you need to understand and keep it in mind you need to make an extensive memo extensive memo does not mean a long or big memo extensive memo means it should include all the things that you want to say and if in the inclusive part it is becoming small of 20 pages no issues because that's your talent that you have used so many things and yet you have made a short memo but if you are going it for 40 pages still not an issue because you had a lot to explain so extensive memo should be there but it should be relevant and concise please it should not be of 100 pages okay it should be relevant don't put thing uh, don't put irrelevant things in it because if you put up a case only put the excerpt the important part of the case and not the full case as such so this is the format of the memorial i would also refer to you a uh, sample memo which i only made and we uh, actually emerged as the winner of the moot court and also the uh, memorial round so these this is the format which you can refer it later i would just uh, go and refer to the the uh, memorial that was there which we guys won so i'll just show you the memorial which is there okay see so this was the memorial i hope it's uh, visible um, no it's not uh, presenting okay <clears throat> yeah now now it's visible right yeah i hope now it's visible right yes 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 so this was the memorial uh, when we went to the amity national moot court in 2019 so you see the table of content is actually the format so you can just see this and it would be done the table of content it talks these are uh, these four things are actually similar you should not change it you should change as per your uh, cases list of abbreviations actually i'll say list of abbreviation is something which is just copy paste i have also copy pasted it so this is the first thing which is their list of abbreviation then it is the index of authorities case laws you are free to use n number of case laws which you find which you which you like which you don't like anything statutes are something which you need to refer books web resources this is completely optional this particular part is completely optional if you want you can put it but index of authorities should have case laws case laws are very important statement of jurisdiction this is also very important uh it is actually sometimes laid down in the proposition itself otherwise this you need to find out and trust me i have seen people doing this thing also wrong this is i'm saying uh, in reality also people don't know on what particular section you are actually approaching the court they find they write this thing also wrong 
and this thing is not which you need to argue but if you are writing it wrong then judge would grill it or if the opposing counsel is smart enough they would just make your case go away because if your jurisdiction is wrong your case would not be uh, uh, admissible admissible in the court itself because this i'm talking in the real life scenario so this thing it becomes very important statement of facts whatever you have written in the proposition you need to just uh, make it small and if i talk about this uh, particular memorial it was based on sabri mala issue so i don't need to explain it much to you and uh, i would be referring it to the uh, referring to the arguments and the how we drafted it because that is what is important but the case is actually of sabri mala and totally uh, ditto copy paste was sabri mala and sometimes this is also one thing sometimes you will get lucky and you will find the real case law which the moot proposition is based on so that if you have a talent if you can mold it and make it in a sense that people don't know people don't find out that you have actually used the real case then that's great for you but if you are not able if you are not creative you are not able to mold it and you use the real case in the moot court then trust me you will fall uh, with your heads down because judges know that this particular proposition is based on the real case law yet they are finding your they are judging your uh, capability of making it fictional okay so this was something extra that i wanted to highlight these are the statement of issues uh, these were provided to us in the moot proposition and majority of the times they are provided in the uh, proposition itself but sometimes they are not so you can make up your own issues also then is your summary arguments whatever arguments that you have done now uh, one thing that i need to highlight you know what summary arguments are people make it make this first and then they go on to the advanced arguments because this is actually the format but make the advanced arguments first this is my tip and once you are done with the arguments advance then form a summary of the arguments because what you are writing here is actually the conclusion okay what you are writing in the summary is actually conclusion which will form the last part of your uh, arguments right so this is one thing that i find really helpful that don't waste your time in summarizing your uh, arguments first make them and then you can go on and make a summary okay now comes the most important part how need to draft how you need to draft your arguments how you can start whether to put in law whether to put in fact and everything okay so you see if you are able to read it it says that locus to file so locus to file is actually the jurisdiction that whether there is a case that we can come up so as you know that we are in the statement of jurisdiction we wrote article 32 so we have included see this is how you need to start you need to start by first giving out a brief line of fact okay and then you need to interlink it with the law that is the article 32 so this is actually a first paragraph which should be there in all the arguments briefly introduce the fact which is relevant for the issue and interlink it with the law that's it okay then move on further talking about the legal point so this is the legal point that we are talking about because in sabri mala case there was a point of norms or usage or custom laid down okay so we talked about that thing and include the case laws whenever it is relevant along with proper footnoting footnoting is very important and it depends from one competition to the other which form they are uh, using okay so this is something which you need to understand there was not much in uh, detail to be written in the first uh, issue the second issue is actually what i want to discuss it talks about article 25 and religious denomination so i don't know if uh, many of you know about sabri mala or the articles i'm not going to the detail but you see that we have divided our argument to into sub issues okay so the first sub you need to divide it this is another one thing which is very important don't make a long issue as such if it is around 5 to 6 paragraphs or 7 paragraphs at last then it is okay to have one issue otherwise divided into sub issues again the same thing this is something that is the fact then this is the law that we explained now it was very important to understand the word denomination so we included the definition as such whenever you are including any definition write it in italics 
whether it's from a source a statute or a case law see like uh, it is there in the shirur mat case we have uh, used it in the italics form we have directly copy pasted it because it was relevant and this is what we argued also okay so these are something uh, just some steps like see another five paragraphs so we change the sub issue so this is how it goes and you can just make it on your own but just keep in mind the main body it should be starting from the fact relevant fact actually relevant fact along with the interlinking of law then your argument supported by a case law this is how your uh, your memorial issues should be so it is actually a four step relevant fact interlinking with law arguments and cases and lastly it is prayer this is the most important part you need to write it it's a copy paste thing only only these things the the between things the three things actually change as per your relief what you are asking for so this is it uh, this is how your memorial is there this current episode the full length will be available on youtube and also you will be able to find that latest updates about the session as well on instagram and other platforms as well so do like share and subscribe to our channel on youtube and also follow our instagram page with regard to regular updates as well